What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. In today's video, we'll be demonstrating how to change display options on the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. This setting is helpful for seeing information on your watch in varying light conditions as well as waking your watch to use the Google Assistant by voice. Now this video is featured on the Samsung Galaxy playlist so you can find information related to this topic quickly and easily. And as always, we only feature products or services I buy, use, or am interested in. On that note, you can find the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 Classic and related items at the Amazon storefront link in the description below. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So starting on the home screen of the Watch 4 Classic, we're going to swipe up. And then we'll continue to swipe up again until we see a gear icon. That's going to be our settings and we're going to tap on that. This opens a new page which will be our settings and we're going to swipe up until we see display and tap on that. Now this opens up a new page of display options and we can look for brightness and tap on that. And this opens another new page where we can adjust our brightness by tapping on the brightness wheel. We can then exit out of this page by giving a right swipe. Next, we'll swipe down just a little bit until we see auto brightness, which can be enabled by a blue slider. Now, auto brightness is exactly what it sounds like. The brightness adjusts automatically according to the environmental lighting conditions. Continuing on, if we swipe up just a little bit, we're going to have always on display, which can also be enabled with a blue slider. Now, always on display is exactly what that sounds like as well. The display will always be on. Now, the con to this is that your device may use more battery. And moving on, if we swipe up just a little more again, we're going to have our screen wake options. Now, these are intuitive options for literally waking your display, and they include raise wrist, touch screen, and turn bezel to wake. And I want to highlight this section because it's especially useful if you're looking to trigger your Google Assistant on your watch for a classic by voice. These options will bring your watch into full awake mode, which is what's needed for your watch to recognize your voice to trigger the Assistant. Now, if you're interested in learning how to use the Google Assistant on the watch for a classic, you can click on the card in the corner of this video to learn more. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you're watching on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now, there are three ways you can support the channel. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would buy and anything you buy from the storefront does support the content. The next way to show your support is just by sharing this video with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way to show your support is just by clicking the subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important because those are your ways to vote on whether you like the content. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful, worth watching, and listening to. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon checking out. Yeah. <laughs>